Hello everyone, today I'm here to do a model review on the new 2013 Gypsy Vanner and it's on a, a fairly recent mold it's the um, the for the first release in this mold was the third release in the Briar Premier collection and he is sculpted by Kathleen Moody I believe um, you can get more information on that at um, I, IdentifyYourBriarHorse.com. So I'm just going to talk a bit about uh, mostly the mold because it's a brand new mold on a regular run that is and he is really quite awesome. I love him. I highly recommend getting him. The feathering is really really pretty on this model. I kind of wish they would have like not left it just white and if they like got like some shading there or something because that would look really nice but I think he'd be a really nice mold to uh, do a customizing on because there's a lot you could do with him uh, anyway I love the motion of this whole mold it's got that really it's like got a real movement to it a lot of briar molds are like uh, just like the standing stock horse just standing there not moving so this is kind of a nice change to have a model that's in motion like this. Uh, the conformation is pretty well. Uh, the only part that kind of bothers me is the neck here. I don't know why, but for some reason the whole neck part right there just sometimes looks a little weird to me when I look at it in different ways. But it's it's all right. It's it's not bad. Also these parts. It's not necessarily like the sculpt of it, but like the mold when they mold it. The little wrinkles in the neck right here are okay, but these ones, you can kind of see them. Those ones right there, they're kind of weird. <laughs> they just didn't, they just don't come out too good in the plastic. But it's, it's not bad. Um, the coloring on this model is really nice and there's different variations I've seen. There's a, a really light version that's even lighter than this and a darker version that's darker than this. Mine's pretty much in the middle sort of. It's actually a little bit on the lighter side so mm -hmm. that's always fun to have variations in the coloring. Uh, he doesn't have any dapples sadly. I kind of hoped that maybe the model would but he's pretty straight. Straight coloring just with a little bit of shading as you can see. Uh, the masking is okay on this one. I'm still going to try and show him. Um, aside for that, there's not too much else for me to tell except he is a nice model in my opinion. Oh, and one thing I do love about this too is a lot of Bray horses, they don't have any detailing on their hooves at all. Even though, look, he has like really big feathering. Like, you can't even see his hooves when he's sitting on table. Like, you can't see them. But, Briar did take the time. His, all of his hooves, every single one of them, is sculpted and colored. Which is a really, really nice touch, I think. I really like that Briar did that with this model. Because just looking at him, you'd think, oh, they probably didn't do anything on the hooves because just by looking at it but then to pull them out from underneath and see that each hoof is very rather nicely done so that's all I have to say about this model so if you're thinking about getting him try to if you can he's a really great model and uh, if there's any other models you would like a review on, uh, let me know. I'll see what I can do.